Today we're going bartender style. We're using a recipe that apparently bartenders serve when they create the Long Island iced tea. This episode is sponsored by Stefan, Joseph, Linda, Ray, and Amy, and many others. Thanks for supporting the show. You can show your support by donating at everydaydrinkers.com slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today we're making the Long Island iced tea, which we have done in the past, and we're doing it again bartender style. This recipe was actually was submitted by Max Figo, who submitted it on YouTube and had comments about how my recipe was wrong which it turns out my recipe is right, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. The recipe for the Long Island iced tea as it originally stood has tequila in it. And the, I think the International Bartender Association and a bunch of other, um, I guess, advocates for cocktails done right. I don't know what else you want, how else you want to word it. Say you don't put tequila in there because it has absolutely no value with the use of gin. And, and that is pretty much the standing just don't do it. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to see how it's going to come out. I'm going to use, it's a little bit of a different recipe than the last time. And there's not too many from what I could tell. This happens to be one of the differences. So I'm going to go with that. Let's see how it comes out. I'm going to add it, build it over ice. Of course, there's probably going to be people who comment saying, it shouldn't be built over ice. I'm going to start to do. We're going to do a half ounce of gin, vodka, Rum, triple sec, half ounce of each. That's what we're gonna do. That's how it's going down. We're also gonna add sour mix to the top. We're gonna add a little Coke to the top and we're gonna call it a Long Island iced tea. Plus our other Long Island iced tea video has, it's technically challenged because it was created in a time where YouTube's video size for their format was quite different and it looks really blurry and gross like most of our original videos that are two plus years old. So that makes me sad and there's nothing I can really do about it besides recreate everything. What are you gonna do? So I have New Amster New Amsterdam New Amsterdam gin. I love this thing. It's a very cost effective actually my, my theme here is cost effectiveness. Since you're creating a drink that's basically just spraying down all the whites that you can get in here. Um, I wanted to kind of stick with, we got Addie's Rum. Every time you buy this, $2 gets donated to the men and women of the armed forces, fire departments, police departments, triple sec, you all know it's pretty cheap. Tito's Vodka is one of the, it's a good lower priced vodka, very neutral, and New Amsterdam Gin, I can't say that, is another fairly neutral spirit. In, in, okay, neutral for gin. It's not juniper heavy. We're going to add our sour mix, bam, and top it. We'll do a little stir. Top it with some soda. Got a straw. Done. Long Island iced tea. Now. Oh, I forgot your garnish. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Tea is just not complete without friendly old lemon to hold the straw up. I did it. It's lemon. It's not lime. So you may have seen that served to you in the bar. Mine have always been brown, and that's easy to do. You just stir it, and the soda will, of course, mix down. Boom, like that. And now you have more of an iced tea, almost like an Arnold Palmer, the uh, iced tea lemonade mix. Come on, you stupid garnish. Oh. You know what? I always like my garnishes right on top. Like that. There. That's the way I would serve it. Ooh! Nice sour. It's like an Arnold Palmer. It's got that sourness. Sweet, sour at the same time. Lots of great sour mix. For this drink, I would not use off the shelf pre-made sour mix, make your own. Because you're getting real lemons, real lime, real citrus, nice sour, yet there's still a, a neat little happy sweet edge to it. Gin, I'm still getting gin. I don't get really this, the rum, no. None of this is really impacting my brain as much as citrus and gin. 
mainly because Triple Sec's got the citrus going already. You've got vodka, pretty neutral. Tito's five times distilled. It's gonna have a little bit of sweetness because I think it's a corn um, as a distillate and it's you know tasty from that perspective. Not a real lot of body and character to it necessarily like a, um, a Grey Goose maybe or something that's got some- Absolute. So Absolute has, it has its own character and they all have these things that define them. Tito's, I think its definition is it's pretty neutral. And rum, if you can find rum inside of here with the, the use of the gin and the sour mix, go ahead. Soda's just there for the decoration. I don't wanna drink too much of that, but that, ooh, it's got a little burn to it too, a little burn. So that is our bartender style version. Um, International, IBA, International Bartender Association. <clears throat> Apparently, I haven't found their recipe because their links are all dead when I look for it, but this would be more of their Long Island iced tea where tequila becomes the optional. It's ridiculous to need that much spirits in a single drink anyway. It's very much an experiment when you think about it. Just put everything in there. What we compared it to when you're a kid and you take all the soda. Yeah, yeah. We, we I did watch a couple videos just because I wanted to really educate myself on some of these styles, and it was the if you've ever used the fountain drinks methodology where you take your cup at the fountain drink uh, machine, Burger King sometimes yeah. has them, Subway has them sometimes, and you just go and you hit each one of them. You get some Mountain Dew, Diet Coke, regular Coke, you know, all the root beer, Sprite, whatever, and then you take whatever that crazy mess is and you drink it. That would be, this is supposedly the equivalent where you had the spray with your vodkas and your gins that you would use in your cocktails and you just go bang, 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 bang through the little list of all your your core ingredients and you get a Long Island iced tea when you just top it like that. It's crazy, I know. But yet, this is a good recipe. I like it, sour mix base with all those other cool weird flavors floating around inside. It will still probably screw you up. Um, not too much alcohol in this version because it's only half ounce of each. So I think this is the safest and tastiest Long Island iced tea that I can remember. But sometimes when you drink them you don't remember anything. Question of the day. This is a good one for the common man cocktail viewers because I know some people, the argument has always been, well, I don't care about standardizing and the fact that something might not necessarily go with something else or you're doing the recipe wrong. Do you guys and gals that watch the show care about the standards in bartending to the point where you don't want two things mixed because they're not supposed to be mixed together? or you don't like this this way, or maybe you don't even like the maraschino cherries that are fake because they're bleached and they're not real and you want the Luxardo real maraschino cherry. You know, what are your, your thoughts? Sweet sour mix, fake sour mix, there should be standards or all you care about is that it, the flavor is good and it has a neat little presentation. What do you guys think? I think I kind of know which way you're gonna lean, but I don't want to persuade anybody in either direction. But you can go to everydaydrinkers.tv.com uh, Facebook.com slash cocktail TV. Leave some input there. I usually put the question there and you can vote on it. We're getting a ton of votes lately. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink.